Rebecca must have been just such a great character to play because she's completely impulsive, isn't she, really? She is, and she's uh, constantly in denial and coming up with all these imaginative excuses for why she's in the predicament she's in. It was a lot of fun. And although, in, in some ways, she, she does some acts which are quite nasty to her friends and stuff, but it's, it's just <laughs> difficult to dislike her, really, isn't it? Because none of it's malicious, it's just kind no. of... Oh God, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of well intended. She's she's someone who has to learn the lesson about focusing less of her energy on the outside, um, and and she only learns that lesson through uh, through her bad behaviour, really. <laughs> So it's, I guess it's one of those roles where you really have to get into the method acting, didn't you? Just immerse yourself into the Absolutely. shopping culture. Absolutely. It was extreme. You know, I had to focus a lot on, on shopping. No, um, I'm not a great shopper. So for me, um, I, uh, I, I sort of, you know, did the old trick of, you know, transferring, you know, using my imagination, basically, when I saw a handbag, picturing it as something else in order to get the adrenaline rush. Did you get to keep any of the clothes? Did you kind of just sort of sneak a few by at the end? Or? I didn't. I didn't. And at the start of the movie, obviously, I was so crazy about the clothes. But right at the end, after three and a half months, um, I, I, I didn't mind handing them back. You know, they represented, you know, Rebecca Bloomwood and not me. And, <laughs> and so, I mean, do, do you have like an essential bit of clothing? Is it, is it like a really expensive dress or do you have like a, an old like, jumper that you really, you know, that you always wear? I'm sure there are items in my wardrobe that I lean on when I'm uh, out of time and I'm getting dressed in a rush. But I don't really have anything that I'm that attached to, no. There's been quite a journey for you from, you know, sort of only sort of ten years ago in, in Yabby Creek and Summer Bay <laughs> to, to, to sort of New York and where you live in LA now. I mean, sort of, <laughs> how's that happened almost? I know. Um, well, I'm still based actually in London, but um, uh, I do travel a lot to the States and it is truly um, amazing that I'm here. I still, I remember when I saw the poster for the movie and there was a poster of sort of Brad Pitt and then me. I thought, who gave me my own movie? It seems crazy, but... Um, I guess I'm just really lucky, and I and I'm and I'm just enjoying the experience. So we have got you a couple of like little fashion gifts from the Midlands. Oh, uh, sweet! First of all, uh, we've got this T-shirt, which is um, <laughs> uh, there's an accent in, in the Midlands called the Black Country accent. Yeah. So um, so that's uh, Boston Powers. Yeah. You have to stay with the accent. Um, Boston Powers. Yeah, and then it's just Thank a you. little gift here as well from um, the Bull Ring Shopping Centre, which is the sort of the most popular shopping centre in, in Birmingham. In Birmingham, yes. Oh my gosh! So I just sent you, um, oh wow! Ball, which, um, that's really sweet. I don't sweet. know what you want to do with that, but <laughs> <laughs> that's really sweet. Thank you.